Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Cole Iso and we're back here with another video. As you'll see today, we're in the tournament of anime and we're at the top left, Fate versus Dragon Ball Z, man. This one's gonna be an insane ass matchup because we got two crazy ass contenders in the tournament. Both of these teams did lose some crazy ass members, but they're both still insane, man. Dragon Ball Z has been contending for the ages and they won season one. They're looking to get another championship under their belt, but y'all know Fate won season three. So we have two champions going against each other. That's insane, man. We haven't got to see a championship matchup in a long ass time so we're gonna see if either one of these teams go go crazy and whoever loses remember they can come back in the losers bracket so like i say every video this one's gonna be insane hope y'all enjoy and let's get right into the action i am not going to be the only one to lose here guy sensei please let this work it is now or never fist of a guy like rock lee leg weight all can't stop me drunken fist at top speed eight gates flow get pop d Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Kalei and we're back here with another Mugen video. If y'all weren't surprised, man, we're here and now, man. As y'all see today, we got two big hitters, and I got a couple announcements to make before we get into this. We got Fate versus Dragon Ball Z. As y'all know, man, Dragon Ball Z has been nerfed pretty damn heavily just because so many of their characters were just pure hyper armor, such as Frieza was removed, Vegeta was removed. They're literally just pure hyper armor characters and they both don't have any reason to have any hyper armor as I seen. I might be wrong. We haven't seen a lot of Black Freeze. We only seen one panel of them. And he, you know, that's not enough to tell if he should have hyper armor or not. So he obviously, like I said, he was disqualified. Plus the fact that he would probably solo this entire tournament. But like same otherwise, Fate has lost the strongest member in all of the tournament. Gilgamesh, obviously, he was literally damn near probably strongest or second strongest him and an L. So both of them obviously were removed. They both were insane. Gilgamesh is still here though, but it is a weaker version. That's the same thing that I want to announce for Karma's video. If y'all haven't seen Karma's video of Fate, y'all know that Gilgamesh lost to Ace because this Gilgamesh is not anywhere near as strong as the old Gilgamesh. This is a heavily nerfed version. As y'all see at the bottom of my roster, he's the third. He's the first one. The old one was the third one. This Gilgamesh is a lot weaker, so we might get to see something new. I'm not going to lie. The second Gilgamesh might be added, but... The new teams both have a lot of differences. We lost a lot of people from both sides. So, I, you know, I definitely feel like this is definitely more fair than it could have than it is before. But now we get to start off with Hit. Hit's a new character on the Dragon Ball Z team. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Either that was a one shot or I don't know, because I know Hit's not that strong. I literally just watched Hit in multiple videos. It's a monster, but he's not God. Holy shit. That boy destroyed Gilgamesh. Okay, now I'm seeing that he, yeah, he definitely isn't God. I So, like I said, he's literally just not the strong character of all time. For some reason, against Gilgamesh, he seemed like he was definitely the best player ever. I'm not going to lie. I'm about to say, this guy lost to Broly, and he lost to Goku and Gogeta. So, I don't see how he could be that strong. But, okay, there we go. Oh, all right. So here we go. Now we get to have a normal match. Now I could talk and shit. Holy shit. Because I thought I thought Hit was finna destroy the whole entire team of fate just because he's a god. He's not that OP. It's just holy shit. He was able to take down Gilgamesh so damn quick. Lancer has fallen to. I don't know if he could take down Saber. He's definitely strong as y'all can see just because of his time stop shit. But it just depends. Like I said, uh, if he could take down certain people like Saber. Saber is definitely going to be a problem for him. Because she can heal and he definitely cannot. But he has some pretty good damage on him. That's the one thing about him. Gil fate, I mean, not Fate. Uh, Hit does have the damage to probably put in some damage against Saber. Oh my god. Saber is already showing us why she's one of the top tiers of Fate. Fate's already down 2-0 right now. And they were the winners of the last tournament. So they're definitely going to step their game up here. I'm not even going to lie. But... Yeah, I was about to say, hit strong, but hit's not that strong. As I said, man, that Gilgamesh is a lot weaker than the other one. I'm not going to lie, the second Gilgamesh might be put on for the Fate team. Y'all can let me know down below what y'all think if you feel like the second Gilgamesh should be added instead of the first one. Just because the first one's not that crazy. And also, some people were telling me to use Medusa instead of uh, Gilgamesh, but I want to let it up to everybody. So, let me know down below what y'all think. Everybody just put their comments down below. Also, I'm going to be doing polls and votes about who should be in um the teams in the Discord. So make sure to join the Discord down below in the description, man. If y'all don't have an account, make an account and join up, man. And it's just, it's going to be lit. But can Saber bring it back, man? She has to take down Broly, which Broly is kind of slow. So that helps Saber just because Saber has time to pop Avalon. Yeah, see? 
She has lots of time to pop Avalon, which makes it Broly one of the best matchups to go against her. But Broly does put in some great damage when he can't hit you. It's just she's super fast. So, you know, that might be very, very bad for somebody like Broly. Broly's, you know, he's a little bit more slow tank, you know, power type of character. But as long as she has Avalon, I don't see her Broly doing too much damage to her. Unless he, like, one thing I say, I think Broly should definitely try to go Super Saiyan against her. But it depends. It's, uh, you know, he's very tanky, very strong of a character. He's very, sh like, you know, he's probably has the most health in the tournament. I think Broly is probably number one because of most health. Just because he's very tanky. And I, I know people like Whitebeard are also very tanky. But I know Broly is very tanky. And his character is very tanky in the show. So I have no problem with it. But it's like, just because he's not really that fast and shit inside of Mugen. you know, he has very bad disadvantages. But like I was saying, man, it's Avalon is clutch enough for Saber crazy right now. She just literally, she just went back to full health after being at a disadvantage against Broly. But like, and Broly doesn't always have hyper armor either. Yeah. Like I said, man, she, that, that Avalon is going to give her the advantage against somebody like Broly easily. Unless Broly goes Super Saiyan, I don't see him doing enough damage to kill somebody like Saber in 60 seconds. But he doesn't go Super Saiyan until he starts losing a lot of health. So, like I said, Saber's going to have to do more damage to him. And Broly's not letting her do as much damage as she needs to to pull him into Super Saiyan. It looks like Broly might end up losing the time for real for real. Or Saber might actually kill him. It depends if he goes Super Saiyan, like I said. If he goes Super Saiyan, he definitely does have the damage output to be somebody like Saber. But, oh my god. Oh my god. No, this is what you don't want, Saber. You don't want Broly close to you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Saber gets Hunter to zero in the corner, bro. He's grabbing and swinging and beating down. <laughs> My boy Broly looks like Chris Brown. Holy shit. Can Archer solo the rest of the, the Dragon Ball Z team? Archer definitely has potential to be somebody who could do something like that. But Broly kills people so fast that you don't get a second chance. So Archer's going to have to transform while he has the chance. As I told y'all, look at the health that Archer's already losing. Okay, that's going to help. That's definitely going to help, but it doesn't do the damage. Like I said, he needs to, the way for him to do the damage is if he goes into his domain. That's the only way I can see Archer getting some good damage off. But other than that, he's not taking, and he's holding. You see how he's playing around right now. He needs to go as fast as he can or he's going to lose here. Bro, he's playing games. Archer transform. Oh, I was about to bug out. This boy Archer is a fucking clown he's over here playing games and shit holy shit we're gonna see if archer can't take down broly in his domain obviously this domain is a problem for broly because broly doesn't have hyper armor he doesn't have too much of anything so like i said he's gonna be this is, this is a big disadvantage for broly as y'all know archer in his domain is one of the strongest people inside of the tournament just because of how much versatility he has how much hits he can get off and all he has to do is survive like this for about 100 seconds even if he can't kill broly can Broly really kill Archer in his domain? Yeah, man. Archer is just hitting you 100 times a second, man. Archer is a monster of a character, especially in this domain. I don't, I don't think Broly's the guy to take this guy down. But Archer still has to take down three other people if he wants to bring this, this whole all the way back for his team. Archer is a monster. Holy shit, bro. Broly is like one of the worst matchups for him. But Broly does have the tankiness. He's going to be eating these hits for a little while. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, that's damage. Every time he touches, Archer is going to hurt. Archer, you better put that real eyes back on. Oh, my God. This boy letting Broly move. Broly's going to kill you, Archer, if you let Broly move. And Archer takes Broly down. Aye. Archer moves on to the next fight. Can Archer take down Goku, though? With this low health, it doesn't look good for Archer. But if he transforms, obviously, oh, that, that helps him a lot. Transforming helps him a lot just because he gets the low health regen as well as the, um you know, the millions of swords. But is that good or bad for him? Can Goku dodge all of this? Oh, Goku can't dodge all this. I seen Goku get hit just now. But the thing about Goku, this might be a good little matchup for Goku just because Goku can dodge a lot of shit. Goku might be able to get around most of this stuff. We've seen this Goku have very hard problems with people like Saber, but Archer might be a, a, a worse matchup than Saber for a person like Goku. Okay. 
I can't even tell what's going on right now. I know Goku has got some good hits off, but at the same time, it can, you know, it could go either way. I've seen Archer get some hits off. Can Archer bring this all the way to a final fight between him and Gogeta? That could provoke some fans. That could show some crazy-ass battles. Okay. That boy, Archer's damn near about to try to carry the Fate team to the end. That's what I like to see. Yeah, Goku's definitely getting hit. Goku's definitely getting hit. I'm seeing him getting hit every once in a while, but it's not nothing relevant. It's nothing that's like a long series of combos. He's getting small hits in. Oh, there we go, Goku. Okay. That's one thing. Archer always has his swords as backup. Even when he's getting hit, his swords are coming. Bro, this boy Archer is putting in that work, but the time limit, I'm not going to lie. I don't know who's going to win this. They have a time limit coming. I think... I think Goku's gotten longer hits in, but Archer has gotten more small hits in. So that definitely makes uh, Archer might be at the advantage here. But as y'all see, Goku's still getting hits in as well. I don't know who's at advantage there right now. Also, I don't know how tanky Goku is. I know Goku definitely has the attacks and stuff to put the work in, but he's not godly amounts of... Oh, there we go. Goku's getting some hits in. Every single time Go Archer's real eyes runs out, Goku gets the hits in he probably needs to get in. Okay. That boy Goku is weaving, bro. Goku is trying. Oh, 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 that hurts. That's not good for Archer, especially if we're going down to time. That getting a full combo in like that is not good for Archer because he's going to let Goku get the win off time. I don't know what the health bars are just because Archer's um, domain is like this. Bro, Goku looks like he's getting hit. Archer looks like he's getting hit. This is a close ass matchup and Archer's taking too much damage here. Yeah, it's not looking good for Archer at all. He popped Royal Ice again, which is smart, but, oh, Goku's getting hit too. Bro, I don't know. Archer definitely looked like he had the advantage early on, but I don't know. I literally don't know where, where this could be going right now, health-wise. This has to be close. I feel like somebody has to be close to death. I don't know if, Ar I don't think Goku does enough damage to one combo Archer. Goku's probably landing around four combos. Archer's probably landing around like 20 hits, just one at a time though. So it definitely could be close health wise. Oh, oh, Goku's. And Goku takes the W. Okay, I was wondering what was going on. I just seen Archer disappear. That was a crazy ass matchup. Fate almost took it all the way, man. But they had a missing piece, man. Without Gilgamesh, it's kind of hard, bro. But they will be moving on to the loser bracket. They definitely can make a comeback. The winners of the last tournament have been knocked out by Dragon Ball Z. What do y'all think is going to go down, man? Do they need Gilgamesh to, like, do anything? Let me know down below what y'all think. Like I said, video, ISO gang, we out of here.